Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is day three of ICAT 2022. I'm so excited. I wonder if when I reach day 10 or day 20, if I'll be as excited. We shall see. <laughs> so as usual, I'm using an index card four by six inches and I'm applying a layer of modeling piece through a six by six stencil. This stencil is actually this pattern that I'm using is six by six, but it's attached to a bigger stencil, which is 12 by 12. I can't remember the name of the stencil. I'm really sorry. My pH has already been pre gessoed and I always try my best to clean my stencils as I'm done using it. If not, I actually have a, a container with water and dish soap to, and I just drop my stencils in when I'm done with it so that way the paint doesn't dry on it and it's very very easy to clean off after. I'm applying a layer of orange acrylic paint. I'm using deco art and sergeant paints and I just wanted like a light wash. Some areas I would like darker than others so I'm going in with orange and also burgundy in between. And the thing is, because I applied the layer of gesso, the card isn't soaking up the paint. So it's very, it's nice for when you want uh, your paints to move. That's, you know, that's why I use gesso. It does not allow the paint to soak up into the card. I can move my paint around and it's, it's easier. So here I'm going in different areas and just applying more paint where I want the paint to be a little darker. So I've dried this and because of the shape, it reminded me of fish scales. And then I looked across on my desk and I saw netting. This had garlic in it. And I decided fish, you know, you catch fish. And I decided to use it. I didn't know what else I was going to use after that. But right now my focus is trying to get this netting on my card somehow. So I just cut it. And I sh I'm stretching it because I don't want the net to be too fine. So I stretched it out and I'm wrapping it on the right side of my card. I don't want it to cover the entire card. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, how am I going to attach this to the card? Because it's plastic. And I saw my staple machine and there you go, attached. <laughs> very quick and very easy. And it's okay that I see the, the staples. I actually, I like it. it. Makes it kind of rugged. I'm just trying to stretch and measure and get it all nice and safely secured as smooth as possible because I don't I didn't want it to be bulky and and um, you know jumbled yeah I just wanted it to be smooth on that right side I'm making all my little adjustments then I found this piece of dryer sheet and I love the texture of this I just love it so I just ripped up that and I found this it's craft paper I've, I like the color. To me, it tied in with the color of my card. And I decided to use it. Then I searched around and I found some thread, which I decided to use as well. I was looking for a wood or woods that seemed to fit in my card and I couldn't find any. And I kept thinking fish. The wood fish just kept uh, playing in my head and I thought catch. So I pulled out my stamps and I'm stamping the wood catch. I didn't realize my ink was so dried up, but I didn't want to take the time to uh, re-ink my pad and then try and go through the process of trying to get the right amount of ink on. 
So I said I would just stamp it and then uh, trace it over with my pen, which is fine because, you know, at least I get the shape of the stamp, which is what I wanted. When I thought of catch, it made me think of catching things in the right time at the right moment, the right season. And of course, thinking about God, listening to him, listening for his word and his timing and catching opportunities, you know, that's what it made me think of. And I, it applied to me. I felt um, inspired by it. So I, I used the word. And every time I see it, it's going to remind me, Gina, keep your focus and just catch those moments, you know, catch those moments of even rest and relaxation and those moments where you see beauty in everything. Every day I try to see the beauty in so many things. And that's what this word, this simple word, means for me. Catch. So I'm going to try to stick these down and then I'm going to be struggling a bit because my thread keeps moving. <laughs> and then the netting and trying to get everything stuck. It's, it was really hard. And I try, I'm trying to do these quickly. I'm just outlining the, what is this called? The paper, the craft paper with some burgundy paint. And then I'm brushing it over the netting as well, just to give it some color. Not really the netting, but more the uh, dryer sheet. So that you can actually see it. And... I felt much better. Then I used some black as well because it was too light and I really liked how that looked. And for me, catching isn't always a clean, neat process. So I like the idea of the thread and, you know, all the, the different, you know, the roughness of the area around catch and all those things. I just, I really liked it. So this is pretty much my card. I'm just trying to sort out my thread. I found it was too neat. So I was trying to separate it and make it, you know, a little jagged and stuff. And then trying to secure the wood and the, um, the dryer sheet properly. But this is pretty much it. And I want to thank you as always for watching and sticking it out with me. And I really hope you're creating too. I would love to know what y'all are doing for your iCard if you decided to try it. And I look forward to seeing you for day four. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye. And don't forget to leave your comments. I really look forward to reading your comments. It's wonderful. It's exciting. <laughs>